The next time Jim King appears in court, he won't be wearing jailhouse green. His family carried regular clothes to today's hearing, and King's defense attorney argued the presumption of innocence should include the garb of innocence. Can't have people walking in with in chains, handcuffed, uh, and in prison clothes. The judge okayed the move after prosecutors agreed, but that's the last time anyone agreed on anything. Garash stepped up his attack, claiming the prosecution continues to spread innuendo, lies, and hearsay about King. Almost like coral building up against the sea uh, to prevent uh, justice being done for my client. Well, prosecutors defended themselves, saying they haven't done anything wrong, and they add Garash is the only one seeking the spotlight. Every time I turn on the television set, Mr. Garash is talking about himself and his track record and his client. I have 14 employees. They got to eat. And I got to put the money and the bread on the table. Garash has been hinting he may drop the case uh, because King can't pay. But prosecutors pay called him on now that, saying nice it sends a signal. That. And that message is my client must be not guilty because he doesn't have the money to hand over to me as, as his defense attorney. What happened here today is just part of an ongoing legal strategy. This is a very complicated case and will require a very complex defense. And as the defense attorney notes, Jim King's liberty and life are on the line here, and he doesn't want to make any mistakes. Julie Hayden, 7 News.